मिस्टर कोली राव इज सीनियर एडवाइजर एंड इंटरनेशनल री इंश्योरेंस एंड इंश्योरेंस कंसल्टेंसी एंड ब्रोकिंग सर्विसेज प्राइवेट लिमिटेड प्रायर टू दिस ही हैज सर्वड एज हेड ऑफ डिपार्टमेंट एट ए ऑन हेविट चीफ रिस्क ऑफिसर एट एग्रीकल्चर इंश्योरेंस कंपनी ऑफ इंडिया एंड डिप्टी मैनेजर असिस्टेंट मैनेजर असिस्टेंट एडमिन ऑफिसर एट जनरल इंश्योरेंस कॉरपोरेशन ऑफ इंडिया सो लेट्स नो इन एक्सपर्ट सेस व्हाट दिस सेड अबाउट किसान फसल बीमा योजना sir as key stakeholders in the crop insurance ecosystem what is the role of insurance companies in providing coverage under pmfdi how do they contribute to the implementation and success of the scheme insurers have to play an important role and to a large extent the role they play decides the outcome in the success of the scheme primarily the role of the insurance companies can be seen under five heads one as a risk carrier second an agency who's required to educate create awareness and the communication among the farming community third as an agency for assessment of losses and timely payment of claims fourthly as part of the grievance redressal and fifthly to participate in the review feedback and submission of statistics so coming to the first part of risk carrier insurance company takes the crop risk being insured on the liability for claims on their books so they are responsible for the ultimate losses paid under the crop insurance program secondly coming to the education awareness communication you know insurance companies are responsible for creating awareness and the disseminating insurance knowledge as part of this activity they have to set up necessary centers at sub district level to facilitate the enrollment provide service and undertake regular iec activities on their own as well as in collaboration with the government insurance companies also have to handhold the enrollment agencies like bank branches uh, and for not only farmers common service centers and other insurance intermediaries third when it comes to loss assessment and timely payment for the losses when the e losses are assessed at the harvest season based on the crop cutting experiments which they have to compulsorily co observe along with the state government agencies they also have to play an important role in recent the intimations and assessment of the losses caused due to localized calamities post harvest losses and arranging for timely assessment and payment for such losses coming to grievance as all of us know insurance is a service product and there are bound to be queries and grievances from the farming community as well as other stakeholders insurers have to create a seamless system for receiving such grievances and complaints if any and to redress them timely Fifthly, as we know, PMBOE is a highly dynamic product, and the government of India has been regularly undertaking reviews, updating, and introducing improvements from time to time. The insurer has to play an important role to provide the feedback in the process, as also submit of uh, statistics and analysis of the insurance coverage and claims data. In all. insurers play a very important role in making sure pma boy is a success conversely we also have to take a blame if implementation is not good well. premium calculation is an important aspect of crop insurance can you explain the factors considered by insurance companies when determining the premium rates for farmers how does the premium vary across different crops and regions this is a good question um you know the premium calculation primarily takes into account uh four or five element the first and foremost uh, element is the passive burn cost calculated by the insurance companies using a uh, preceding 10 years in data at the insurance retail which could be village or village panchayat for each crop so this is nothing but if the current product with the current parameters if it was in implementation for the past 10 years what is the average claim size so that is nothing but what we call the burn cost so that's an important foundation element of premium calculation now secondly our pmbo also provides additional coverage uh, for benefits like preventive sowing mid season adversity localized calamities post harvest losses so these have to be charged separately so or this is an element second element uh, which goes into the premium thirdly uh, this being a multi agency platform uh, in which insurance companies state government banks government of india and other departments are involved 
the quality factors like ground hygiene uh, is very important. Uh, for example, they also insurance companies also look at irrigation status in that area, whether a single monocrop or uh, multiple crops are grown. What is the local environment uh, for monitoring the crop cutting experiments? So these are the other factors uh, the insurance companies uh, uh, look at. And also the insurance companies take take into account the current season's prospects in terms of what is the LNO scenario, uh, what is the monsoon forecast, the it may an important role uh, in, in deciding a premium. And lastly, insurers do look at uh, availability of their resources, particularly the manpower and the infrastructure, and to what extent a given state or a district adds to their overall business practice. So these are the five, six important uh, parameters uh, which go into a premium calculation. However, it is important to note that whether the insurance companies charge actual premium rates at the crop district level, the farmers pay only a fraction of the actual premium rate. Farmers pay a no more than 2% uh, for Kharif, for food crops and rice seeds, and 1.5% for the rabi season for these crops. And for hard culture crops, it could be up to maximum 5%. Meaning, the difference between the actual rate charged by the insurance company and the rate paid by the farmer is equally shared by the state and central government. Over and above that, we are also recently uh, uh, witnessing uh, some states, for example, Andhra Pradesh, uh, Maharashtra, Odisha, they have decided to bear the, even the farmer share of premium making uh, the crop insurance scheme literally free for the farmers. And this is actually helpful in universalizing the crop insurance program in those states. One more important point here to note is if the actual premium rates exceed 25% for the irrigated crops and 30% for the rain-fed crops, the additional premium subsidy exceeding these limits are entirely paid by the state government. So in other words, the risk-based premium is calculated uh, using actuarial and insurance principles. But the farmers are required to pay only a fraction of these actual premium rates, making it very affordable to the farming community. So policy documents play a crucial role in crop insurance. And what are the key components that farmers should pay attention to while reviewing their policy document? Are there any specific terms or conditions that they should be aware to ensure proper understanding and coverage? As we know, uh, PMFA is a government scheme and the government of India and the concerned states are really driving this scheme for the benefit of the farmers. So therefore, the primary details of the scheme are available on the government website as well as in the notification copy uh, issued by the state government in the beginning of the crop season. However, in order to empower the farmers and to provide specific details of insurance coverage, the farmers will receive uh, some details of the insurance policy, which in case of lonely farmers, they receive an insurance policy. And in case of non lonely farmers, the consent enrollment agency like Commerce Service Center, they issue an acknowledgement come received for the non lonely farmers. The documents the farmers receive as proof of insurance contain some important details which the farmers have to uh, take note of. Uh, the document will contain the farmer's name, his village, the name of the insurance unit, uh, the season, is it Karifa Rabi, what is the crop insured under the program, what is the value of the risk insured or what we call the semi-insured, and the premium, the premium paid by the farmer as well as actual premium. It is important for the farmer to check or arrange to check these details to rule out any errors in recording these details by the enrollment agencies. If the farmers don't receive the document, it is important that the same is brought to the notice of the insurance company. Starting from Kharif 23 season, the government introduced an app called AID, AID that is app for insurance intermediary enrollment to provide doorstep enrollment that should provide greater convenience to farm and community in availing crop insurance. Apart from the issuance of policy, the insurer is also running uh, several campaigns. For example, the most important campaign which started last year is Mary Policy Mary Heart Abiyan. So under that Abiyan, the insurance companies are conducting village level campaigns to hand over the insurance policies to the loan aid farmers. They are also conducting uh, Fasal Bima Parsala uh, where they undertake IEC activities, distribute pamphlets, 
highlighting how the scheme functions and what is the role of the farmers in case of there are losses or localized calamities. And farmers, should they have any doubts, they can always contact the place from where the enrollment was done. And it is also important to mention that insurance companies are running a small office at block or taxi level. Who can we reach? They actually have these service centers with toll-free numbers with help in vernacular language. They can be reached out for any queries the farmers may have. Timely claim settlement is essential for farmers to receive financial assistance in case of crop losses. How do insurance companies handle the claim settlement process under PMWI and what steps are taken to ensure transparency and efficiency in the process? Claim payment in case of insure loss is very important and the essence of the insurance contract. Therefore, we can say the real value of insurance lies in fair and timely settlement for losses. So, I would see uh, the role here under three parts. One on the part of the state government, second on the part of the insurance company and third on the part of the farmer. Let's start with the state government. Uh, state government, to begin with, they have to conduct the tender process um, on time. And once the contract is awarded, issue the notification to ensure that uh, the insurance company has enough time to conduct IAC activities, as well as the farmers have ample time to enroll themselves under the scheme. The second step is, you know, uh, advanced premium subsidy. The state government have to release this subsidy on time, and that goes a long way in timely settlement of food. Once the two activities are com completed, you know, there are uh, other activities which are very important. Like, you know, as mentioned, the scheme provides for additional coverage like uh, uh, preventer sowing, localized calamities, which is an adversity. So in case of preventer sowing, the state government, within 15 days from the end of the enrollment date, they have to declare uh, the preventer sowing if there is an excellency. Similarly, in case of mid-season adversity, there is a time frame when uh, the mid-season adversity is declared, what is the criteria, what is a proxy indicator based on which this uh, adversity is declared, which includes, you know, the giant sample survey. So this has to be done on time. Coming to the final point, the yield data. So yield data finally comes based on the requisite sample size of the crop cutting experiments. So the state government have to plan the requisite number, conduct and share the schedules in advance with the insurance companies so that they are able to co-observe these crop cutting experiments without fail. And also, once the crop cutting is done, the final end data has to be submitted on time for the insurance company to process the claim. Starting from this current season, the government of India introduced a project called S10, that is, use of technology for yield assessment. And as part of the program, up to 30% of the weight of the yields is derived from the technology. And the state governments have to take ownership of this mechanism because the idea of the government of India is to to roll uh, s -tech on a large scale and probably four or five years from now entirely move the manual crop cutting system into a stick project. So coming to the role of the insurance company, all assistance have to be provided in enrollment of the farmers as also issues of policy document. And in case of localized calamities and post harvest losses, they have to appoint uh, within 48 hours uh, a surveyor and within 10 days from there, make sure that the assessment is done. And 15 days from there, the settlement for such loss is paid for. In case of any dispute in yield data, insurance companies can raise a concern within 7 days from the day the yield data is made available with valid reasons. After 7 days, they have to accept the yield data as it is. They, they will not be able to raise any questions after 7 days. And once claims are calculated, all eligible and undisputed claims should be released within three weeks from the date the yield data is made available, of course, subject to a receipt of applicable premium subsidy. Coming to the role of the farmers, first, the farmers have to make sure that when they're enrolling, all the details which are required for enrollment are given. And when they receive the policy document, they check those details that uh, the recording of the details has been done correctly. And in case of losses, for example, uh, localized calamities or post harvest losses, they have to give timely intimation. Uh, for example, in case of localized calamities and post harvest losses, they are required to intimate those losses within 72 hours, along with 
details of the you know the cause of the losses and farmers also uh, are expected to cooperate in assessment of the losses so that the insurance company can complete the assessment in timely manner most importantly claims are electronically created into the account of the beneficiary farmer to ensure that there is a transparency and the payment is also quick what support mechanism are in place to assist farmers in understanding their policy coverage filling claims and addressing any queries or concern they may have how can farmers make the most of service provided by insurance companies to enhance their experience with crop insurance as we discussed before uh, pma is an important uh, policy uh, uh, drive from the government of india uh, uh, with states participating as an equal partner so we all have to see the big picture of the safety net provided by the government farmers have to proactively participate in crop insurance rather than entirely relying on the government or the insurance company to act upon knowledge of the scheme and understanding the role the farmers have to play while the enrollment happens by way of furnishing correct information understanding what is the insurance coverage and what risks are covered and when the losses become payable and what is the role of the farmers particularly in case of localized calamities etc the timely intimation uh, of losses etc are very important knowledge of the scheme and understanding the role the farmers have to play while enrolling themselves under the insurance program by furnishing correct information and also understanding the insurance coverage in terms of what are the risk covered and uh, under what circumstances the losses will become payable and what kind of timely action the farmers have to take in case of localized calamities etc is an important aspect which the farmers should be aware and provide factual information regarding these losses when the government certainly working on the empowerment of the farming community which is a key element but what is equally important is to have a realistic expectation of the insurance program let's understand that this is not a money back insurance but this program pays only when there are change in crop losses and as per the scheme provision so therefore let's not expect that every time uh, a farmer pays the premium they are bound to be claimed so therefore understanding the scheme the scheme provisions um when the losses become payable actually it goes a long way in enhancing the experience of the crop insurance it is also equally important to understand that the scheme is highly subsidized and the government pays almost three fourth of the risk premium the farmers have to pay only just about one fourth of the premium so this realization that you know uh, the government is actually behind this program and they are interested in the safety of the farming community will go a long way in enhancing the experience of the farmers in the crop insurance so what suggestions would you like to give to the farmers to encourage them to take advantage of all these facilities as mentioned earlier this is a very important safety net scheme of the government of india meant for the welfare of the farming community and the government of india is also as mentioned uh, bearing the lion share of the uh, the premium leaving uh, only a small portion to be paid by the farmer so therefore it is important that the farmers uh, uh, understand this aspect without fail without looking at how the season is going to go whether it's going to be a normal season otherwise they have to enroll and have the protection of this crop insurance so for that uh, at the beginning of the kharif season and rabi season the enrollment window is uh, roughly uh, one month to 45 days so they should themselves enroll uh, based on the crops they are growing and furnish correct details at the time of enrollment so that they have the correct coverage and also they participate in various IEC activities the insurance companies are conducting at the village level that really benefits the farmers in understanding what is the insurance coverage and also farmers whenever there is a, a loss due to localized calamities or other peril they should make sure that within a reasonable time of 72 hours they give intimation and when the loss assessment is done by the insurance company they cooperate in the loss assessment process so these these are the steps i think uh, uh, I, i would suggest to a farming community to avail these benefits of crop insurance and and benefit from this government's initiative thank you very much sir for giving such important information under pm abhi bhai it's my pleasure thank you very much thanks a lot sir